Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in discrete mathematics that too in the recurrence relation that is how can we generate a function for a given sequence. So in this kind of problems, we'll be giving some sequence and we have to find out the general solution that we are calling it as a function, generating the function to generate the sequence. So let's start the session. So generating function so let us see a few formulas if the given sequence is in that particular formula directly we can write the general solution or the function so the first one first one if the sequence is in the form 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x power 4 and so on if the sequence is in this format if the sequence is in this format then that can be written as 1 plus x power minus 1 1 plus x power minus 1 so usually this we will write it as see a naught x power 0 plus plus or minus okay so a1 x power 1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x cube plus and so on so here the a0 a1 a2 a3 and so on this is a sequence now you got a clarity right so because we are talking about that sequence and here we are giving some equation so you may get a doubt that so if we are having the sequence how we will be getting the equation so you can simply apply this one and verify whether it is in this format or not so if a0 a1 a2 a3 so we you know that all these are constants right so the sequence is also a constant so we need to apply these constants to this particular equation in this way a0 into x power 0 plus a1 into x power 1 plus a2 into x square plus and so on. So apply the sequence in this one and compare whether it suits with a given formula or not. Right. So hope you got an idea. Next. So if you apply the constants in the equation and you got this, this kind of uh, a formula, then directly you can write the function as 1 plus x power minus 1 and the second case 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x power 4 and so on if the equation is in this format that can be written as 1 minus x whole power minus 1 next third 1 minus 2x plus 3x square minus 4x cube plus and so on so alternate plus and minus right so if after applying the constants in the equation if you got the sequence in this way then it will be 1 plus x whole power minus 2 and the fourth case 1 plus 2 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube and so on if the if the sequence after applying the sequence if you got in this way then we can write it as 1 minus x whole power minus 2 and similarly the next case is a e power x e power x means exponential we all know that 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x by x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus and so on that will become e power x the function is e power x the function is e power x okay so these are the few formulas we have to remember okay we have to remember so there are a few more functions okay you can remember if the format is 1 uh, minus uh, 3x plus 6x square minus 10x cube plus 15 x power 4 and so on that will be written as 1 plus x whole power minus 3 
and similarly 1 plus 3x plus 6x square plus 10x cube plus 15x power 4 and so on that can be written as 1 minus x whole power minus 3x so there are a lot of formulas right so we can apply we can apply the constants to the equation and we can check whether it satisfies with any one among these formulas so directly you can write the function so these are all the functions these are all the functions so first step is applying the con co constants to the equation right yes so this is the one way this is the one way and the second way is directly taking the a naught value and uh, by trailing trailing error method we can uh, predict what to be done uh, after applying to a naught we get the next term right so we'll see both the cases so first case let us uh, look about the first case i'll give you one example and then we'll go with the second case that means not about these functions i mean these sequences so let us take an example So let us take a simple example. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So these are nothing but uh, uh, natural numbers, right? Uh, not order. So let us solve this one by using the sequences just we have seen right now, right? So first let us take A0 is equal to 1. Uh, A2 is equal to 2. Sorry, A1. A2 is equal to 3. And A4 is equal to 4. Now let us apply. So a0 into x power 0 plus a1 into x power sorry x square sorry x1 plus a2 into x square plus a3 into x cube plus so on right now apply this one 1 into x power 0 plus 2 into x power 1 plus 3 into x square plus 4 into x cube plus and so on. Now what happened here? x power 0, 1. So 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube plus so on. So we have directly the formula. It's the same sequence. 1 plus 2x plus 3x square uh, plus 4x cube, which is nothing but 1 minus x whole power minus 2 so this is the generating function for this particular problem hope you got yes so in the other way you can also use the same uh, i mean you can also find the generative function so general solution so let us take this one a naught is equal to 1 now a1 is equal to a1 is equal to so what is the a1 value 2 that means a0 plus 1 okay next a2 is equal to a1 plus 1 a1 plus 1 similarly a3 is equal to a2 plus 1 right so what it mean an is equal to an minus 1 plus 1 okay so this is the formula a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 1 right so or else you can also write it as a n is equal to a naught plus n this is also correct for example take a 2 sorry n is equal to 2 right we know that a naught equal to 1 right n is equal to a2 is equal to a0 1 plus n value 2 which is 3 a2 a0 a1 a2 so 3 so you can write in this way also both are correct both are correct so you can directly use a sequence or you all may also use this particular steps in order to find the generating function so not every sequence will be satisfied or we will be solved by using these kind of problems but any kind of sequences can be solved by using this procedure so two procedures okay so let's see say one more example 
So let us take this example 2, 6, 18, 54 and so on. So this is a sequence. We need to find out the function. So for this particular sequence. First we will solve this by using two approaches. So let us take here a0 is equal to 2 and a1 is equal to 6, a2 is equal to 18 and a3 is equal to 54. Right? So let us take here uh, the equation a0 x power 0, a1 x power 1, a2 x square, a3 x cube and so on. So let us substitute. So 2 into x power 0 plus 6 into x1 plus 18 into x square plus 54 into x cube and so on. So this is a formula. Okay. Now you can solve it 2 plus 6x plus 18x square plus 54x cube plus and so on. Now we had a formula that every formula, every sequence will start with 1, right? So now take 2 as a common and you can take 1 plus, it will become 3x three, three plus 6x square plus sorry 9 9x square plus 27x cube and plus so on now you can see so is there any chance of having uh, generating the function from our uh, already seen functions right already seen formulas so you have to generate it so 2 into so we can take here 3 power 1 x power 1 plus 3 square x square plus 3 cube x cube plus and so on. So you can imagine so x is here 3x. Why don't we write x as a 3x? Okay, x as 3x. So now you can see so 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube. That means 1 minus 3x whole power minus 1. So, this will be the function, right? So, hope you understood. Then, if you substitute x as 3x, so 3x becomes x, 3x becomes x square, 3x becomes x cube and so on, which is nothing but 1 minus x whole power minus 1. So, here x is 3x, so I have written 1 minus 3x power minus 1. And this is one way. What about the other way? So, you can take a0 equal to 2, and a1 is equal to 6. How will we getting the 6? So you can simply use a0 into 3. Okay. Next a2. What about a2? a2 means uh, 18. How will we getting 18? a1 into 3. So what is a1? 6. a1 into 3. a1 into 3. So you can see this can be this can also be written as a1 as a0 into 3 into 3 which is a0 into 3 square so which is a2 coming to a3 what is a2 value so this is a0 a1 a2 so 18 into 54 yes so a2 into 3 so a2 can be written as a0 into 3 square into 3 which becomes a0 into 3q, a3, right? So similarly, we can write it as an is equal to a0 into 3 power n. So, which is nothing but a general solution. So, this is a first order general solution. So, the first order general solution is in this format, like an is equal to c power n into a0. So, this is in the same format, right? So, this is the general solution for this particular sequence and this is also correct and this is also correct no problem okay so in this way we have to solve the problems okay either by using the sequence and if you are not getting the answer by substituting the sequence this equation go to this particular approach so take the initial value and find out the function which to be performed to get the next term so in this way you have to find the generate you have to find the function or you have to generate the function for the 
given sequence here the main uh, if this one is uh, will be giving the sequence and we are supposed to find the function so whereas in our logical uh, reasoning problems we will be getting the same sequence we need to find out the next sequence the next number in the sequence so how we will be getting the next number in the sequence means after finding out this particular function we can get any uh, i mean any number in the sequence right so let's stop here so hope you understood this one and if you are having any queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much